The army lays defeated, the last defenses breached, and now the queen's chambers are flooded with soldiers from an opposing colony. She is torn apart, limb by limb, and yet her empire still thrives, her colonies ruled by her daughters. No, it's not Game of Thrones, it's just another day in the life of the terrifying creatures known as ants. That's right, minuscule as they may be, ants are downright terrifying. That's why they make such a perfect fodder for old B-list horror films. I don't think ants are scary. I think, I think they're kind of cute. Look at them carrying their little pieces of food back to their family. Or Anthony. <laughs> anyway, how could, how could anyone think he's terrifying? Well, it's not so much him I'm worried about, more his meaner friends. Within the rainforests of Costa Rica, Honduras, Brazil, and Nicaragua, there lives an infamous species of ant. Measuring between 0.7 to 1.2 inches long and ranking in among the world's largest ants, the Parapinera clavata species is better known by a different name, the bullet ant. Is it, is it, is it called that because it's speedy? No, it's called that because its sting feels like you got shot with a bullet. <sighs> Though equating the pain from a bullet ant's sting to getting shot may not be entirely fair, it's painful enough to lock up muscles, cause loss of consciousness, and has been known to send waves of pain shooting through your body for up to 24 hours, something that brave wilderness host Coyote Peterson experienced firsthand. Or, in his words, Oh, I am sweating bullets right now. It is humid, but my body is on fire. It's been about 20 minutes since the sting. I look at my arm. Or as Steve Backshall of the BBC's Infinite Monkey Cage put it, you start shaking, you start sweating, it goes through your whole body, your heart rate goes up, and if you have quite a few of them, you'll be passing in and out of consciousness. There will be nothing in your world apart from pain for at least three or four hours. This pain is so great, it currently has the highest rating on the Schmidt Insect Sting Pain Index. The Schmitty who's a what now? That's a scale of how painful each insect sting is. How do they rate those? Um, do they kind of have a conversation with the bugs? Like, hey bug, tell me about your sting. Oh, no, nothing that complex. Schmidt just gets stung by the insects. What? Entomologist Justin Schmidt. It's his scale. He rates each insect because he gets stung by them. Really gotta admire his dedication to science. But why does the bullet ant sting hurt so much, especially when compared to, well, any other species of insect? Well, it boils down to the unique chemicals in the bullet ant stinger. According to Dr. Paige Giroux, while many ants utilize formic acid or alkaloids for defense, the bullet ant's notoriously painful sting is caused by a protein they produce called paneratoxin. Once injected by the stinger, the paneratoxin interferes with the ability for nerve cells to send and receive signals. And while that sounds like it may numb pain, it does the opposite and instead causes it. Turns out there's a fine line between the two. Or as Dr. Giroux puts it, think of it like when your leg falls asleep. It may be numb and yet feel like pins and needles within a short period of time. But here's the thing. As painful as its sting is, the bullet ant isn't likely to kill you. Enter the army ant. Recognizable by their column swarms, bulbous heads, scissor-like mandibles, and size difference between the larger warriors and medium-sized workers as described by Mark Moffat, tropical biologist. You may have seen these little guys in movies, like Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where they can be found happily swarming over people and eating them alive. In terms of diversity, there are over 130 species of army ant, but there's two that come up more often, the Essatin ant and the Durillus ant. The Essatin can be found from the Sinaloa region of Mexico down to the Buenos Aires province of Argentina. These ants as a whole are to other ant types what Genghis Khan's empire was to other human civilizations. They're nomadic and bred for combat, switching between periods of settling down and laying eggs in a nest made from their own living, writhing bodies, and periods where they move every day, swarming across the landscape and hunting anything in their path to feed their larvae. Army ants send columns of workers to find prey, which they have to feel for since they're, well, blind. If they detect motion, they attack. Prey can include other species of ant, insects, and small vertebrates. Though, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, driver ants will even attack humans. Oh, also driver ants line their columns with walls made of living soldier ants. 
So yeah, there's a, another horrifying visual for you. Eseton army ants also use their own living bodies to build bridges that other workers can use to cross gaps. But, but driver ants are nice because, because they eat pests that hurt crops, so, so farmers like them. <sighs> yes, driver ants do have a benefit in that they eat pests. See, they, they are good. But how they do that is still horrifying. Wait, Brew, I don't, I don't know, man. You don't have to tell me. Upon finding prey, army ants swarm over the poor creature and tear it apart with sheer numbers. The more it struggles, the more workers are attracted ripping off limbs, skin, carapaces, and anything else they can reach. They coat it with acid to break victims down, or carve them into more portable pieces. Creatures just vanish under a tide. No. An ocean. Of ants. Ant ocean. Oh, bro, are you, are you okay? <clears throat> yes. I'm fine. Army ant columns devour thousands of creatures a day, possibly making them one of the most dangerous species in Africa. But in terms of dangerous ant, one species crowns the pack, the bull ant, also known as bulldog ants or jumping jack ants. I mean, who wanted that? Ants shouldn't jump. Found primarily in Australia, bull ants have garnered themselves a tough reputation. Then again, that's the norm for Australia's wildlife. What? No way, bro. Australia has great wildlife. They, they have kiwi birds, and they have koalas, and platypus, and, and kangaroos. Well, platypus have a venom that can incapacitate you with pain. Both kangaroos and koalas maul people. And Australia as a whole is home to some horrifyingly venomous creatures. Except kiwis. They're from New Zealand. Officially the world's most dangerous ant according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The bull ant is not only extremely aggressive, it's also one of the largest ants around, and different subspecies can measure between 0.3 and 1.6 inches in size. Oh, and they've been called wingless wasps, just in case they need to be even worse. Bull ants generally make their colonies in woodland or forest regions of Australia, but they have also been found in metropolitan areas like Sydney. Though, not all bull ants dig their own nests. Indeed, some species of bull ant don't make nests at all. Instead, they attack other ants' colonies, kill the queens, and take the surviving ants as servants to do their bidding. And that's not even the worst part. So, what's the big issue? Huh? First up, how they attack. Bull ants latch onto their prey with powerful mandibles before repeatedly stinging. Stings that are notoriously painful. Plus, they aren't afraid of humans and can see up to 3.3 feet away, which means that they will chase you down and sting you if you get near their nests. Which leads us to issue number two. Bull ants have been known to kill humans. What? But get those images of ants swarming over a person out of your head. No, seriously, quell those thoughts. That's horrifying. The bull ant's danger mostly comes from allergic reactions to its sting. And remember, they're aggressive. They will chase you down. Around 50,000 Australians have allergies to the bull ant's sting, which is capable of causing reactions that range from severe pain up to anaphylactic shock. Essentially, you can't breathe, and your immune system floods your body with chemicals that can be life-threatening. In a study on bull ant-related fatalities, six were identified from 1980 to 1999. And while that isn't many people in the greater scheme of things, it's one of the more horrifying ways to go. Imagine going for a walk when an inch-long ant spots you. You're too close to its colony, and it approaches. You walk away, figuring you're safe. But no! It chases you, jumps onto your skin, then grabs hold and stings repeatedly. Most fatalities occur within 20 minutes, though some take as few as five. There are more than 12,000 classified species of ant in the world. And it's important to note that while the worst most ants can do is infest your home or garden, some are killing machines that would fit right into a horror film. If you see ants in the wild, don't harass their nest unless you like getting stung. And if you find lost ants in your home, they aren't likely to be deadly. The best way to prevent an infestation? Keep your house clean of crumbs. Use products if any do show up. And if the infestation is too bad, make sure to call your local pest control company. But if you think ants are bad, just wait until we talk about wasps and hornets. Oh, my best friend, I love all animals, Chill. Thank you for showing me their beauty. Also, I am so very proud of you. Oh man, that means a lot. Thanks, man. I, I really needed that, you know? Say, those are some snazzy earbuds, my dude. Where can a cool cat like me fetch a pair? Oh, do, do you mean he's everyday E25 earbuds? 
These beautiful base buddies came from our good friends over at Raycon. Would, would you like to hear more about them? Why, of course. Go for it, man. I believe in you. I love everything about these earbuds. They're stylish yet discreet, elegant yet affordable. Also, the company that makes these beauties was created by my man Ray J. The R&B rap legend? I love that guy. Say, are we talking about those Raycons I got for you, my boy? How are they holding up? Well, with a six hour battery life, Bluetooth support, and the cutest little carrying case, I'd say, um, I'd say we're holding up pretty dang well. This is fantastic news. <laughs> you deserve the best. In fact, everyone should have a pair. You too, Bean. Hoo wee Yes. Great idea, Grill. Let's all go and get a pair. Chill, won't you come with us? I can't, I can't yet, you silly geese. I gotta, I gotta finish telling everyone about this sweet new offer. Friends, if you're interested in a pair of earbuds that will be best buds with your ears, then head on over to buyraycon.com slash brew. Whether you're working from home, working out, or even working on that backlog of audiobooks, Raycon's got your back. Um, I mean, it's got your ears. Raycon's got your ears. Plus, they're so discreet that you can enjoy your favorite sounds and not drive any of your housemates crazy. A deal like that? Well, shucks. That's music to my ears. Haha. <laughs> Hey, Grill, did, did you hear that? Could you ever think this would be a good idea? You wanna talk about good ideas? Well, roasted coffee beans ain't one of them, pal. Stupidly flammable. That's not... Wait, what did you... Well, I didn't make coffee, that's for sure. We, we have to douse it before... Heat to the rescue. No, don't! Oh my god, why are there more flames? Well, it's nice and toasty in here. Hey, let's make s'mores, Joe. Won't you join us? Oh boy, I I, I would love to, friends. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee. I'm chill. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee. Oh. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee. Yeah, you tell him. Girl? Bean is fine, he's on high, but that ain't no excuse. Sorry for the disrespect and the abuse. Eight legs, thick chain, he's on the loose. No bones, but he's got a bone to pick with you. Nice. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee. Raycon. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee. Ooh. It's Raycon, baby, ooh -wee.